Hey, what's up everybody? Bill Zimmerman from Internet Marketing Wizard. This is going to be a Voo player tutorial and what I'm going to cover in this video is how to add your opt-in form to your video. Okay, um, I'm going to be covering Aweber and get response. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a YouTube URL. Let's pause the auto preview and turn off the auto preview. Um, okay, basically it's very easy. You're going to go down here. You're going to enable the opt-in box. Okay, you're going to choose which um, list you want to, uh, which autoresponder company you want. So we're going to go with Aweber. Now here's the, the uh, Aweber list ID. This is the name of your list. So when when you create a list, you name it something. Okay, that's all this one's going to be. So in my example, we have a list called IMW Weekly. Okay, you enter that there. Uh, the full redirect URL, uh, leave blank for no redirect. What this means is if you want someone, your visitor to be redirected to another web page after they uh, submit the, um, the form with their email, okay? If you leave it blank, once they submit it, it will just disappear, okay? And I'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that blank. Um, disable the name field. If you check this, it's only going to have the email field. Okay, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'm going to, I want the name and the email. Okay, when should the video appear? I'm going to choose at a specific time. Okay, the start time I want to appear at, let's say, 5 seconds, and the end time at the 15 second point. Okay. The header title is just simply a header. Um, uh, subscribe for updates. Enter your name and email. Okay, and the layout, we only have a default right now. We're going to be adding some more to that. Um, that's all you need to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save changes. Oh, forgot to enter my player name. Uh, test 100. Okay, I'm going to save changes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab the code. Copy it. Now let's go over to a test site here. Okay, and I'm going to enter my code here in the HTML section. Now I'm going to publish this page. Okay, now let's go ahead and view the post. Here's the video. Let's lower that volume. And there it is, appearing after five seconds. Now let me opt in real quick. And it disappears. Okay, that's as simple as it gets. Let me go ahead and show you how it works for a, um, for get response. Okay, for get response, all you would do is obviously choose get response here. Now, instead of the, the, uh, the, the list name, you're going to use your your form ID, okay, for get response. So let me go over to my get response uh, test account. Okay, um, here's my get response test account. You just go to your web forms. Okay, let's go to my web form list now, and uh, we're going to view the source. Okay, I'm, I can choose here. I will install my own form. I'm going to show HTML code. Okay, and you're going to see the same form ID number all over the place. You're going to see it here. Okay, you're going to see it here. You're going to see it all the way down at the bottom where it says your web form ID value. Okay, it's the same number. You're going to choose this number. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Go back to Voo Player and paste it in there. Okay, that's all you need to do for get response. Everything else is the same. You can publish the page as is right there. All right, if you have any other questions, uh, any problems, go ahead and submit a ticket to us and we'll take care of you. Thanks a lot.